if you're looking to win money, betting NFL Week 1, there's no better place to be than right here on the Power 5. This show is now on an outstanding 54-25-4 run with our free plays after going 3-1-1 one, one on Friday. First off, you're going to want to make sure you're subscribed to the Wage Talk YouTube channel so you're not missing any of this great free content. We are going to be going underdog heavy for Sunday in the National Football League, plus a play on Cowboys-Browns that you won't want to miss. As a reminder, you can always comment down below with any questions or thoughts on my five plays for Sunday here. Uh, let me know what you're betting uh, on Sunday as well down in the comments section below. All right, play number one, Jacksonville, plus three and a half at Miami. If you caught my appearance on Wager Talk today earlier in the week, then you know I'm already invested in the Jaguars making the playoffs this season at plus money. Uh, bet, I bet them at plus 130 uh, was the specific number I got. So it makes sense that they might steal a game, quote-unquote steal, uh, like this against a fellow AFC playoff contender. Bottom line is this, guys. Jacksonville was 8-3 and three straight up last year. And then quarterback Trevor Lawrence and wide receiver Christian Kirk got hurt. Two years ago, this team won the AFC South. They were heavily favored to repeat going into last season. I think Lawrence, after getting paid, is primed for a big year. The Dolphins, meanwhile, I think they're going to take a step back, likely. We know they can't beat playoff teams. They also really don't have much of a home field advantage. They're dealing with key injuries on both sides of the ball coming into the season opener. I just think getting more than a field goal with Jacksonville in a game they can absolutely win outright is too much. Take the points. Number two, Carolina, plus four at New Orleans. Ah, yes, let's bet the Panthers, who were 2-15 and 15 straight up last year. Uh, I think they're going to be a lot better this year. I've talked about it. I think they're going to go over their win total of five and a half. They'll be among the most improved teams in the league in 2024. Now, incredibly, the Panthers never took a single snap in the fourth quarter with a lead last season. That is shocking. Both of their wins came on field goals on the final play. Rookie quarterback Bryce Young, well, he was dreadful. But there is hope. New head coach Dave Canales, he has previously resurrected the careers of Geno Smith in Seattle, Baker Mayfield in Tampa, so I think he could do wonders with Young as well. Remember, Jared Goff had a terrible rookie year, just like Young did, and he's ended up being a solid pro. You look at this New Orleans team, meanwhile, and there's just not a lot to like. How is Dennis Allen still drawing a paycheck? In five years as a head coach, including his short stint with the Raiders, Allen has never gone over his team's projected season win total. And then you look at both him and quarterback Derek Carr, traditionally huge money burners in the role of favorite. In fact, Carr, the last 18 times he's been favored by more than a field goal, 3-14-1 against the number. So take the points with Carolina, who I think is live to pull the upset in week one. Number three, Tennessee plus three and a half at Chicago. By now, you've almost certainly heard this is the most points a rookie quarterback has ever had to lay in his first regular season start. I think the market is just a bit too high on number one overall draft choice, Caleb Williams and the Bears. Not at all surprised that the Titans have taken money in this spot because the Bears haven't been favored by more than four points against anybody since 2014, a decade ago. Furthermore, Number one overall draft picks, like Williams, are just 3, 14, and 1 straight up all time when starting in week one. I think Tennessee might be better than expected, while Chicago might be a little worse, taking the points again in this matchup. Number four, Washington, plus 3.5 at Tampa Bay. Are you sensing a trend? Here, I'm going to take a rookie quarterback starting on the road, which admittedly, that's a little scary, but I think having Heisman Trophy winner Jaden Daniels on the field makes the Commanders a much tougher out here in 2024. This is mostly, though, a fade of Tampa Bay. Uh, again, if you caught my appearance on Wager Talk today a few weeks ago, you know I'm looking to fade this Bucks team at all costs. Love them to finish under their season win total of 7.5. In fact, I think they're likely to finish last in the NFC South. Yes, even behind Carolina. Uh, by the way, Fading Baker Mayfield, who I think turns back into a pumpkin this year without Dave Canales, uh, as a favorite, typically a wise decision. In his career, Mayfield, just 14, 26, and 1 against the spread in the chalk roll. So again, take the points in this game. By the way, an applicable trend to all four games I've talked about thus far. Teams that failed to make the playoffs the previous year and are road underdogs in week one of the regular season have gone a money-making 90, 
59-5 and five against the spread the last 20 years. So keep that in mind when betting Jacksonville, Carolina, Tennessee, and Washington on Sunday. Number five, my final play in the week one power five is going to be a total, and it is the under in Cowboys-Browns. Look, I have no faith that Browns quarterback Deshaun Watson is ever going to be elite again. Yes, the team was 4-1 and one in the five games he started and finished last year. However, he was 37th in EPA. There's only 32 NFL teams, so he was worse than several backups. And per Warren Sharp, no, who does a great book, I, I'm sure many of you have read it, but no quarterback had a higher rate of incompletions due to inaccuracy last season than did Watson. Furthermore, the Browns' offensive line is in trouble because of injuries. So Cleveland, I think they're going to struggle to score points here. However, so should Dallas. Why? In eight home games last season, the Browns' excellent defense permitted an average of just 13.9 points per game, the lowest average in the entire league. What a job by coordinator Jim Schwartz. Tom Brady, in his first game as an announcer, he's not going to have a lot of offense to talk about here. Under 41 in Cowboys-Browns. Let's just re quickly recap the Power 5 now, shall we? Jacksonville plus 3.5, Carolina plus 4, Tennessee plus 3.5, Washington plus 3.5, and, and under 41, Cowboys-Browns. You can let me know what you think of those selections by commenting down below. Also, if you already haven't done so, how about throwing me a like? Smash that thumbs up. Always appreciate your support here on the Power 5. Now, if you're looking for my top bets for NFL Week 1 on Sunday, head on over right now to wt.buzz slash bp. Entire card is available for just $29. But remember, for just $49, you can get every play I release in every sport for the next three days. That's an instant $20 savings off the normal price and no coupon code is needed. Guys, not only have I been dishing out these free winners every day here on the Power 5, we talked about the run earlier, 54, 25, and 4. That's pretty damn impressive if I do say so myself. But I enter the weekend having also gone 17, 8, and 1, 69% in all sports the last 14 days with my premium plays at wagertalk.com. And that includes now a 2-0 and start in NFL. I had the first half under, 23 and a half in Ravens Chiefs, and I cashed my teaser bet with the Ravens and Packers. Pretty smart bet if I do say so myself. Uh, two incredible sweats down to the wire to catch that. But we're 2-0. and Not going to complain. I'm also not going to complain that last year I went 3-0 and on the first Sunday of NFL. Now I look to do it again. One more time. That's wt.buzz slash bp to get my top NFL selections for the rest of week one. There are three plays locked and loaded for Sunday. Also remember to subscribe to the Wage Talk YouTube channel if you already haven't done that. Of course, not only do I do the Power 5 daily, you can't forget about the morning wager, me and Mark Zinno, every Monday through Friday. That will do it, though, for the NFL Sunday edition of the Power 5. Let's keep rolling, guys. And until next time, let's cash some tickets.